Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a beginner's guide to airsofting. Airsofting is something that I discovered um, about a year ago uh, by accident on YouTube. I was just actually having a look around YouTube and I came across a sniper guy on YouTube and I thought, wow, he's really impressive. Runs around, runs around a lot, gets a lot of kills. Um, and was quite impressed with them. Since then, I actually had more look on YouTube and I found a lot more guys that played airsofting. And about four months ago, I had my very first game on airsoft. Now, the reason I decided to do this was I didn't get a lot of help when I decided I was going to go and play airsoft. So, this is kind of a beginner's guide if you would like for airsofting and as my experience grows and I do more of the sport I'm going to do more of these videos. So the first thing I have to tell you if this is a sport that you're thinking about trying do not under any circumstances go buy a gun. Okay lots of places that you can go to to play airsoft they will rent a gun out to you and I advise you to rent the gun. Couple of reasons first of all if something goes mechanically wrong with a gun while you're gaming, they'll fix it, replace it, whatever needs to be done. You'll get BBs as well, okay, so you have no responsibility regarding the gun except to look after it. Also, if you decide it's not a sport for you, you haven't bought a gun and then you need to sell it. And there's a whole lot of legal, there's a whole lot of legal aspects to buy it and selling these guns, which we will cover later on. So, four months ago I had my very first game and I bought a pump action shotgun from a friend at work who no longer decided that he was doing airsoft, which was a great gun. Problem with the gun was it took 15 rounds in the magazine. The magazine was a bit jammy but I managed to free it up and it's working great now. Uh, the other problem being after you shoot 15 rounds, you've then got to reload it in gameplay. And if you're being shot at, that's not an easy thing to do. I can assure you. So, yeah. So, it's a great gun. I've still got it. As a matter of fact, I've upgraded it. I've put a sight and everything on it. And it works absolutely fantastic. Problem with it is bright orange. It has to be two-tone. Which, lucky for me, it was. Because if I had a bought a shotgun that looks like a shotgun, if that kind of makes sense, a replica, I'd actually broken the law. And then I got myself in a whole load of trouble. So, let's talk about the legal aspects of airsoft. Airsoft guns, some of them, are what they call replicas of the real gun. And if you buy one of them, okay, and you do not have a yuka, okay, if you do not have a yuka, okay, and this is application form for it, then you can get yourself into a lot of trouble if you buy a replica gun that isn't two-toned. Okay? The reason for it has to be two-toned, it's, it's classed as a toy gun then. And it's also not looking like a real gun, so you won't have armed police coming to your house and um, breaking down the door and so forth and things like that. If you're seen with what they class as a, a real anybody it's going to look like a real gun so it has to be two-tone so four months ago I had my first game I fell ill I haven't played since um, however I have been to the site that I'm going to be gaming in I'm a professional photographer I took some photographs had a walk around the woods spoke to a lot of guys uh, about airsoft and about where to buy guns the type of guns to buy got a lot of information a lot of guys were really good there are some guys that weren't so good, that kept a lot of stuff to themselves for whatever reason, because I'm not quite sure about that, but they weren't very forthcoming with information. So, I've decided to do this to try and help guys like myself that starts the sport. Where do you start? The first thing is you need to find a site. That's the first thing you need to do. You can Google it. You can go online, you can search it. Hire a rented gun. <coughs> Don't buy one. Don't go down that road right now. Okay. 
See if you like it first of all. Try different types of um, airsoft, indoor, outdoor, um, you know, because they're because depending on the style you want to do it will depend on the type of airsoft that you want to do. So, I go to section 8, okay, which is an outdoor field. It's very large, I have to tell you. Very, very large. I'm 54 years of age. I'm very unfit. Okay, my young days are well and truly past me. What style do I want to do? Well, I want to do two styles. I want to do a little bit of skirmishing. Uh, attacking and so forth, uh, close quarter combat, CQB, and I want to do sniping. So, let's start with the CQB aspect of it first of all. I want to do C CQB. What do I need? I need a rifle that will fire semi-automatic and automatic. I also need a secondary, which is a pistol as well. Okay, So that's what I decided that I was going to buy. So, I go online and I research, okay. My wife went out at Christmas time and bought me a pistol. And I'm not quite sure how she managed it, but she's went out and bought me a spring action pistol, which fires one shot, and every time you want to fire another one, you have to cock it. The magazine holds seven rounds. It's a G1, and it's in two-tone blue, which is absolutely fine. A nice legal pistol, okay. Perfectly legal, nice little magazine goes on at the bottom. The only aspect with this gun, it doesn't have a safety, okay? So every time you cock it, it's ready to go, okay? So you need to watch what you're doing. So I thought to myself, great wee pistol, how am I going to put it on my, on my belt? I went out on eBay, had a little look around, bought myself a little four pound holster, and it fits in there quite snugly. I'm going to try and use one hand here, I'm going to try and get it back in, and I probably won't to be honest with you. We'll give it a little bush. Yeah, got it. In. Yep, there we go. And it got a couple of straps to hold the pistol in. Fits onto your belt. Absolutely fine. Quality rifle. Okay. I'm looking at rifles, and rifles. That some of them are just price of them are absolutely mental, and I can understand why. Because if this is a sport that you're taking up, you want a rifle that's going to last you a long time. You want to maybe last it three, four years. Okay, so I get the price, so depending on the price that you want to pay, especially on beginner level, okay, where, where I'm at, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a gun. You don't want to be spending three, four hundred pounds on a gun at this stage. At this stage, you want a decent little gun that's going to last you maybe two years. Okay, so that's the way I was looking at it. The fact that I'm not fit, I don't want to be carrying a full metal gun, okay, because they're very heavy. I have felt the weight of some of the other guys' guns. Even the small ones, and they're very, very heavy. So I'm thinking to myself, I want to get a polymer gun mixed with metal, and that's exactly what I decided to do. <coughs> I bought an M4 style, okay, with a silencer built in uh, rifle. Now, I've done some research to the rifle. I know the maximum size of, uh, weight of BBs I can put in, because BBs are all different types of weight. I know that. I know that the battery that comes with it is not going to last a full day of skirmishing. It maybe last maybe two, three hours. Okay, so I'm thinking I need to buy another battery. For the battery, I need to buy another charger, and that's exactly what I did. I went out and bought another battery and another charger for it. Um, also done a bit of thinking as well, and later on, when I get my Yuka, I am going to spray paint this gun and camouflage it, okay? So I sat and thought about it, I thought I want it painted green, and that's exactly what I decided to do, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some darker green spray paint and some brown and black as well and camouflage it up even more, because if you remember, I want to do sniping. So I'm also thinking well in advance for that. So, I'm going to show you the gun now. And this is what I bought. Ah. This is there. Uh, start for this end. Silencer goes from here to here. Okay. Coming down. Magazine goes in here. Fire select, safety, semi automatic. Sling goes on here. This is an extendable butt, it moves up and down, that end there comes off, battery goes in here, 
This is a battery, it's called a nunchuck type battery, which is obvious. Uh, coming down the box, this is a crappy sling, that'll definitely not be used. This is a magazine, it's a high cap magazine, can hold up to 300 rounds. Okay, go in there. A European type charger for the battery, it's there. This is the sights, that's the force sight. That's the rear sight. And if we pick up the gun. In here is a thing called a hop up. And when you pull the charging handle back, this little piece comes down. And in there, that's how you change the hop up so you can get the BBs flying a decent range. Or if they're going too short, you can up it so you get a better range on them. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, there's a magazine release, and that's the gun. It's a nice little M4 style. Um, this is the battery that I bought, the secondary battery. Really good battery. It's a 6.9 volt battery. I don't know if you can see that. At 1,600 milliamps, so that should last a full day skirmishing, no problem. Um, this is a charger I bought for it as well. I think I'll be able to charge that battery and then that battery with it because I think that's a six cell. I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. Yeah, it feels like a six cell battery. So I should be able to charge up that with that. Uh, yeah. So, all together, okay, in that box there just now is about £120 worth. And I think that's quite a reasonable amount of money to spend on my very first airsoft gun. I don't think I'm going to need anything else for a while. Um, so yeah, so that's the rifle itself. Uh, pistol as well, as I said, there we go. So, I don't know how much the wife paid for the pistol. I got it as a present, to be honest with you, and I haven't researched it. Okay, so all together, okay, I spent... Um, 120, say £125 in total, which was my Christmas money, if you want. Okay, so I think that's quite a reasonable amount of money to spend on my very first airsoft gun. Uh, as I said, I want to get into sniping. I have seen a sniper rifle, uh, which in Euros but it's roughly about £400. But it is a type of sniper rifle that I will not need to upgrade very quickly. Okay, so yeah. So that's where we are just now. So I'm going to do a few more of these as I go through the weeks. Uh, maybe to try and help you guys out as much as myself. Because airsofting, I'm finding, there's a lot of terminology within airsofting that... Uh, quite alien but I suppose if you're in the sport you'll understand this and I'm, my, my plan is to try and help you guys out so you are in the place that I was in when I first started because I didn't really understand a lot of the terminology and stuff like that regarding airsoft I found it very difficult to understand what uh, an AEG is for instance a gas blowback non-gas blowback these things I'll cover with you as time goes on, okay, what these terminologies are. Um, electric guns, gas guns, um, yeah, there's lots and lots out there. And I'll be honest with you, uh, I bought my gun off a company called Patrol Base. And the reason I went there was a lot of guys told me about the website. And I went and I checked it out. And it was great because... The website itself had um, beginner level guns on it and it clearly displayed beginner level okay and that's why I went and that's one of the reasons I bought this from then is because their website was very clear this is a beginner type gun okay that's exactly what I'm looking for right now because that's exactly where I am I decided right away I wasn't buying a full metal gun because of the weight of it the fact that I'm not fit, I want to be able to last all day running about. Okay, so I bought one that's polymer and metal, which is mixed. 
Okay, so that's the reason it's very lightweight, even with the 300 BBs added on, that gun is very, very lightweight compared to some of these metal, full metal guns that are out there. And also, winter's coming, full metal gun in your hand will get very cold, it'll make you cold. So I've done a lot of thinking regarding this. But the sniping is the way I'm going to be going, and I'll talk more about that in another video. So I hope this has been a help for you. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed putting this together for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please drop a comment. If you like, please like, share, do whatever you want with the video. I'm hoping over the weeks together we'll be able to uh, come together and uh, yeah, have an adventure together if you want. You all take care. Bye just now.